Hello and welcome to another adventure in Coriolis. Today we're headed to one of the most visited museums in the Washington DC area, the Smithsonian Museum of Air and Space. So come on, let's go on an adventure. Now headed to the south side of the mall and a little bit closer to the capitol so we're headed south and east uh, on our walk to get to the air and space museum there is a lot of the museum that's currently closed there's a lot of renovation going on now so this will be a very abbreviated look at what the full museum is typically like but there is also another facility that's uh, sort of an annex of the air and space museum it's out at dulles international airport so about 30 miles or so to the west of downtown Washington, D.C. If you do have plans to visit the mall or the Smithsonian, just keep in mind that Saturdays are super busy. You can come down here any day of the week. Uh, well, on certain times of the year, the summer is, I imagine, pretty swamped with people also. But if you come down during the day, there's not that many people throughout the week during the off season. But there's a lot of people out here today. It's a beautiful day out today. It's February 1st. A lot of sunshine, which invites a lot of people to the National Mall. Looking down to the east side of the mall at the Capitol building. There is a metro stop right here on the mall. It's the Smithsonian stop, and it's on the blue, the orange, and the silver lines and it'll bring you out right here about the middle point of the National Mall. So if you want to get around that way, that may make things a little bit easier for you than having to walk. So this is the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum. It is the number one visited Smithsonian Museum in Washington, D.C. Uh, I was kind of shocked when I walked up at how small the line was. I thought it was going to be a lot. Just looking across the mall at the 
Smithsonian Art Gallery. There were tons of people lined up to get in there. So the crowd isn't too big at this hour. It's currently around 1.30 on a Saturday afternoon, uh, which I think is pretty good. Uh, there's also an entrance on the other side. This is the mall entrance. There's a, there's a street on the other side if you go around the block. Let's head into the National Air and Space Museum and check out some of the cool exhibits here.
I don't have any idea when that's going to be completed, but uh, unless you're just here on a brief trip and not no plans to return, I wouldn't really recommend visiting right now because it's such a small museum inside. There's so many people crowding inside. It's hard to see the exhibits. So if you are coming to visit over the next few months, uh, in the first half of 2020, I definitely would recommend giving yourself uh, quite a bit of time just to maneuver the, around the crowds. Uh, but otherwise, this is a wonderful museum to visit. In addition to all the exhibits inside, there's also a cafe inside, so you can have lunch in there. There's a museum store, and there's also uh, the Lockheed Martin IMAX Theater. They feature many different short films, you know, 30, 40, to even 60 minutes uh, about space. I saw one here once about the Hubble telescope, which is really awesome. Uh, so check out the National Air and Space Museum. I'm sure it's on your list if you're coming to DC, as I mentioned. It is the number one visited Smithsonian Museum here on the National Mall. That's gonna do it for this adventure here at the National Air and Space Museum. Thank you for joining, and I will see you on the next adventure.